AITA for refusing to help my brother with my severely disabled niece. My F24 brother, 32, and his wife were told early in their second pregnancy that the baby wasn't developing properly and would be severely disabled. My sister-in-law was heartbroken but she wanted to terminate. My brother spent a long time convincing her that the baby was God's will. I told him that he needed to consider how much work was involved in taking care of a baby with so many special needs. My boyfriend is a pediatric nurse. He tells me horror stories. I said his wife was right. He said I was a terrible sister and aunt for saying those things. He got our parents involved and they told me to mind my own business. So the baby went to term. And she was born with deformations and disabilities. Sorry if I do not go further than that. My brother was home for two weeks then he went back to work. My sister-in-law was basically responsible for that poor baby girl for the next six months. Plus my five-year-old nephew. She couldn't take it and she took their son and moved to her parents' house. My brother has been trying to get her to come home but she won't. My parents both work so they cannot help as much as they would like. He asked me for help and it took everything I had not to say that it was God's will that he take care of his daughter since he wanted her to be born so badly. Instead I just said that I couldn't because I couldn't watch her and go to school. He said that the help he was getting from the government and family was not enough and that he was going to lose his job. I apologized but I said I could not sacrifice my future for his decisions. He tried getting my parents to convince me but I told them that I had been informed by them that I should stay out of it. And I was choosing to do so as I had done so previously. My mom is having to take time off to help him and it is draining her. I had lunch with my sister-in-law yesterday and I asked her when she was going home. She said she wasn't sure she could handle that yet. I did not push. My family thinks I am being an asshole by putting my studies, which I pay for myself, are more important than my brother's job and marriage. I don't think I should sacrifice for someone who chose the life he got. NTA your brother is not a good person. He browbeat his pregnant wife into keeping a pregnancy she did not want to continue. I know she has some responsibility but he manipulated a woman in a very vulnerable position and that is beyond vile. I feel for her and their son and the baby that he insisted be born. This is beyond tragic and you cannot enable him in thinking his choices were in any way okay or valid. NTA. You are allowed to choose your own life. People will throw, family makes sacrifices for each other. At you. Which is true. But fails to take in the enormity of this particular sacrifice. This isn't missing out on a few Friday nights here and there. This is missing out on the life you're trying to build for yourself. You aren't a replacement wife. And there's a very real possibility that your SIL will never come back. Are you supposed to just put your life on hold indefinitely? NTA. Your brother wanted the baby. His wife didn't. He knew that the baby would need a lot of care and attention. Expected his wife to cope somehow and didn't care that this would also be to the detriment of their older son. I expect he worked long hours. Never took over care so his wife could have some me time or even just concentrate on their son. For a few hours. Now she has walked out meaning that he is responsible for the baby he wanted to keep and is finding out just how hard it is. He built his bed, so he must lie on it. Don't neglect your future so that his is easier. NTA. When you offered sound advice you were told to stay out of this. So now you're staying out of this. My family thinks I am being an asshole by putting my studies, which I pay for myself, are more important than my brother's job and marriage. Of course your studies are more important. Duh. It's common sense. Maybe it's God's will that your brother loses his job. NTA. 
you made your position clear from the start. And, as you said, you were told to stay out of it. As heartbreaking as this is, you should not sacrifice your future for your brother's sake. And, should you decide to help in the future, staying in school puts you in a better position to help then. Your parents have decided to help that was their decision you are not bound by that. And I can only hope that their feeling are being influenced by their exhaustion. NTA, but everyone else sucks. NTA. He persuaded his wife to go through with the pregnancy and now he's living with the consequences. It's a shame for the child but he can't expect other people to put their lives on hold for his choices. If I were your sill, I don't know that I could ever come back. Your brother sounds controlling and manipulative. Yes, this is now a difficult situation and he can't go it alone. But your sill did not want to have this baby was pressured into it, and is now being told she must be the primary caretaker. I mean, no, she did not have to acquiesce to your brother. But I can see how that could feel like an impossible situation. I wouldn't be surprised if your brother is regularly a poor partner to her given the info from this story. I think you're not in the wrong. You shouldn't sacrifice for your brother. But if you have some time that isn't sacrificial and at a cost to you, maybe consider grace. However, if it seems like a given inch and he'll take a mile, I would be very wary. NTA. Neither is your sill however your brother and your parents are big Oz. As is anyone who tells you that you should put your life on hold because of someone else's bad choices. Your sill made the right choice for her and your nephew. If she stayed your nephew would be completely sidelined because of the amount of care and attention your niece requires. Please continue to support her as I am sure she has a lot of guilt about this. Your brother using God's will to bully your sill into continuing the pregnancy has backfired on him. You should absolutely tell him that it's God's will that he be humbled by this experience because of his arrogance. The best place for your niece would be in a facility equipped to give her the 24-7 care and support that she needs. NTA. You warned your brother that it would be very tough and should terminate the pregnancy. He got on his high horse and insisted. So, now he has to reap the consequences of his decision, which is in no way your problem. Out of idle curiosity, could he make his daughter a ward of the state? I know that sounds cold, but he isn't capable of caring for her. She might stand a better chance of getting the care she needs. In Ta, people that use God's will to get their way never feel any accountability or responsibility for their actions and choices. All of the adults in this, except for you, our giant Oz. NTA. He literally forced this child into the world against all common sense and now wants to force the women in his life to care for her. Good for your sis-in-law leaving after he forced her to have a CH8LD. I hope she stays away. In fact, tell her to divorce before he loses his job so he gets no alimony. NTA. Your brother it's the real AH. They should had stop the pregnancy. Now it's too late and euthanasia is non-legal. So your brother basically trap himself for life and destroy his own marriage for a religious and stupid belief. NTA. They told me to mind my own business. Do just that. He can pray or do whatever he thinks will help. This was his choice. NTA she is your brother's responsibility. His situation is his own doing and now he needs to deal with the consequences of his actions. NTA and how could anyone possibly think it is your responsibility to take care of someone else's baby? It is irrelevant that you advise them to terminate. Is there some kind of cultural aspect here because otherwise this just doesn't make any sense? 
NTA, stay in school and keep on making decisions that are best for your future. NTA, true, your advice to them made complete sense, and you're not responsible for their decision. I wouldn't lift a finger to help them. They dug their own grave and are trying to pull you down with them. Don't let them. Your brother could ask his church for assistance. If he hasn't already, don't know where you live. But round here churches often offer daycare, wee trips for disabled children. Crowdfunded by the community with some help from the church itself. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.